Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden seeing you here today. God bless you on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Thursday, uh, the day before, the day of, rather, our Thursday night Bible study. And listen, the sky is gloomy and gray, which I personally think that a gray sky is a beautiful sky. There is snow and inclement weather in the, in the forecast, and uh, my position on that is God controls the weather, and if the Lord allows it to come in, as have been predicted, and if it creates a problem, then it's not a problem because the Lord knows, and we're going to, to uh, uh, adjust ourselves accordingly. But as of right now, I'm telling you, I have... I have a major, major problem, and I need your prayer. And here's, here's the prayer that I need. I need you to pray that God give me strength to keep my big mouth shut and not tell you what I want to talk about tonight, to, to save it for Bible study. Because I'm telling you, and, and listen, this is not a tease. This is just the way it is. I was just talking to Gary about it. When it comes to the word of the Lord... The God of the Bible always has something to say, and he's always saying something. And uh, the Bible, I, I, my own personal uh, description of uh, the Bible is that it is a book. You, you cannot um, uh, 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 read and consume and exhaust this book. It is... Uh, uh, a phrase I call him an inexhaustible, the inexhaustible book. For when you read it, when you read it, um, uh, you get what God wants you to see on, 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 on that particular read. And if you read something else, read the same passage six months later, or you God give you to re revisit it a year later or two years later, and you study it and you put everything you can into it, just as you did the time prior, you discover just as many golden nuggets, just as much of God's truth that you didn't know the previous time around that you see this time around. That's because of the nature of the Word of God. And you know, someone said this to me. I'm getting ready to give you one of my secrets. They said to me, uh, Bishop, uh, how is it that, that, that you come up with your sermons? And, uh, how is it that you, you, you seem to always uh, have stuff to talk about? Uh, it, it, here's what I've learned. Here, here's the little secret. Just preach the Bible. Study the Word of the Lord. Listen, if you preachers out there, if you study the Word of God and you read the Bible and you preach and teach the Scripture, number one, you're going to never run out of material. Number two, you'll never be stale because the Bible is as current as tomorrow morning's newspaper. And it hadn't even been printed yet. The Word of the Lord, this old book, it's old and it is new. My God, it is ancient and it is futuristic. It tells us what has happened, what is happening, and what shall happen. And I love it. It is the foundation of God's truth. And we read the as we read and study the Bible, we see how God how the God of the Bible fortifies us and strengthens us and revives us for times such as these. It is the solution to marital problems. It is the solution to living holy while you're single. It is the solution to getting healed. It is the solution to contending with chronic illnesses. It is the solution. It is, it is the solution to all of life's woes. I want to recommend that you read the Bible, that you study the Word of God. And tonight, if the God of the Bible allows and the roads are clear, uh, I don't know if precipitation will be falling by that time or not. If it is falling and the roads are clear and it doesn't appear that it's going to create a challenge, we will be here studying the word of the Lord. And if not, then we'll be back at the next appointed time. But I want to encourage you, my friends, uh, uh, study the Bible. Get, get into the Word of God. You know, I said this, and I'm closing. 
I said this last Sunday. I said it in the Sunday morning's message. I said uh, this during our 8 a.m. class. You won't find in the Bible where the Bible tells us to read the Bible. No, it doesn't use the word. Uh, reading is, is, is a little weak. The Bible says, search the scriptures. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved. So the point I'm making is we got to do more to it than just read it. You know, getting up every morning, reading a scripture or two for your daily devotions. My personal think, uh, thought is that nothing has uh, so ruined people's Bible study regiments like daily devotions because they get a scripture for the day. And, uh, and so that's it. That's that scripture for today. And that's, that's cute. Nothing wrong with that. But you don't learn your doctrine. You don't learn the Bible. You don't learn the biblical truths. You don't get into the depth of God. Reading a daily devotion, a scripture for a day. But here's how you, here's how you learn what the God of the Bible has to say about you. Uh, you study the word of the Lord. You make sure you're at a church where the Word of God is being preached and taught. Not 10% Bible and 90% anecdotal stories, not 3% Bible and 97% happenings, uh, headlines, uh, 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 sermons on relationships. Uh, you know, this the, the, the new trend, the, the, I guess the buzzword is, is transparency. And uh, so the preacher, makes his life story and he is standing up sharing with you all of the intricate details of his life uh, and giving basically too much information uh, that, that that is somehow supposed to get you closer uh, to the Lord. And so we said, well, you know, I'm just going to be transparent. Well, the Bible didn't, when I read the word of the Lord and study the word of God, Paul told Timothy, preach the word. <laughs> and he said, be instant in season and out of season. I personally believe that God's story is more interesting to people than mine. I actually believe that what Christ did on the cross and what the Bible teaches is much more interesting than a discussion that Pam and I may have had or, or something of that nature. And we do uh, put ourselves into the scriptures and into uh, the text and, you know, we're people like everyone else. But my, my point I'm making is, uh, uh, in many cases, very little Bible is being taught. Very little scripture is being taught and preachers are spending a multitude of time telling you about themselves and their ups and their downs and their fears, their, their goals and their accomplishments and, and that kind of a thing. And those things, are, they're wonderful to listen to, but man, you got to turn the page from that and tell us what was said from Genesis to Revelation, for that is the word of God. And that's the teaching. That's the power that causes cancers to dry up, high blood pressure to, your blood pressure to regulate, for healings to take place, miracles to take place, and for God to give you the strength that you need to get, uh, to get through and to, to walk in victory and to serve the God of the Bible. So tonight, if the Lord allows, we'll be here teaching the word of the Lord. I'm looking, Brother Gary, at my at my text, but let me put my hands over it. I want to give it away so bad, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I'm going to exercise some discipline. Help me, Lord. Help me to save this until tonight. So we'll see you for Bible study. Yes, Bible study, should the Lord allow. I love you. God bless you. We'll see you tonight.